In this video, I'm going to share a full day of eating a 2000 calorie balanced diet. I'm also going to share footage from today's workout, as well as my overall active lifestyle. Now, eight weeks from today, I've got a vacation booked and I want to be looking my best. I definitely want to lean out a bit here, um, especially considering the holidays. Christmas is just six weeks away. I know I'm going to be letting loose a little bit during that time. So it's time to kind of tighten things up. I gained about eight pounds during this muscle building phase, which is within my sweet spot. The last muscle building phase, I gained upwards of 10 pounds. That last two pounds was just really freaking uncomfortable. So this has been a very successful muscle building season, muscle building phase here. So really looking forward to seeing how I look and any progress that I may have made during that muscle building phase uh, at the end of this cutting phase here. So let's get to this footage of the 2000 calorie diet, very balanced meals. As always, wake up between 5 and 5.30 a.m. No alarm clock needed. That is my natural wake time. Start my day with two cups of coffee. Went with a Costa Rica blend this morning and just a little splash of unsweet vanilla cashew milk. Oh, for a morning walk, my furry homie Chica Dog here. Absolutely loving this gorgeous autumn weather. You know, I was a little resistant to it at first. Love walking around, shirt off and everything, but there's, uh, there's something magical about the, the crispness in this air, um, just invigorating, just really gets me excited for the wonderful season that's ahead of us. On to meal number one, this is one of my favorite meals of the day. It is incredibly satiating, really provides me with loads of nutrients and incredible quality fuel to help me get through my day. So I've got three free range eggs from my friend's local farm. I sprinkled in some ground black pepper and some pink Himalayan salt in there. I've got some extra lean ground turkey here, 100 grams. So I, I batch cooked this ingredient, so I'm going to be using it through multiple meals throughout the next couple of days here. Um, I've got some spinach, uh, some hot banana peppers here, and then in the bowl, I've got got two third cup of oats and 140 grams of frozen mixed berries. I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon on top of that. This meal is looking absolutely incredible here. So with the eggs, I just poured the egg in first, uh, let the bottom kind of um, firm up a little bit. Then I added the ingredients. So I cover it with a lid as well. So I'm not flipping this egg over like I would an omelet. I guess you call it kind of like a frittata as well. If you want to bump up the calories, wherever you could add cheese to this, you could add a topping, some sort of hot sauce or something. Uh, but I am really looking forward to diving into this meal right now. That was an absolutely kick ass yoga class. Today's class was all about inversions. It's a wall class. So a lot of poses, like we start with our feet up off the wall and we kind of try to get our feet away from the wall. Um, and it never freaking fails. It's like this wall class and the Power Peaks class. There's so many times where they'll instruct us to do a certain move, a certain pose. And I'm just like, there's no freaking way my body can do that. Like today, we're going from a handstand into a scorpion where our back is bending over and then landing into a, a full wheel. I'm like, there's just no way. My body doesn't move like that. So I tried it a couple times. First time, couldn't get it. Second time, got really freaking close. And then the, the instructor, Misha, the owner of the studio here, um, said, all right, just come a little bit further away uh, from the wall there. And sure enough, I was able to get myself right over into a wheel from a handstand. So it's just such valuable lessons that I take from this yoga practice because it is so new to me. I mean, I've been weightlifting for, was it 34 years now, 35, 35 years now I've been weightlifting. So kind of like an expert, very knowledgeable in this and very aware of what's going to challenge my body and um, just more familiar with everything. But there's so many times in yoga where it's, it's totally new territory for me. And I just think there's just no way I can do that. And then like, it's usually within three attempts and that's what I love about the class. It's like they, I try it, I fail. They're like, all right, give you a little cue, try it again. There's no like, okay, I, I appreciate the cue. I'll try it again another time. It's like, try again now, we're in front of us. Don't quite get it. Try it again now. Like they're right there encouraging you to try it, knowing that it just takes a little practice. And right now I'm gonna grab myself a peanut butter chocolate protein bar here, a Daryl's bar, all natural ingredients. I am hooked on these. Uh, I gotta say, I've been having about one a day as of late. Quick, on the go, easy meal. I'm gonna be heading to the gym very soon right now. Just gonna get a little running around done first. Um, but this is a nice, quick snack that'll satisfy me before that workout, uh, before getting to my next meal. That was a kick-ass chest and shoulder workout, starting with the dumbbell bench press. Actually started with the cable fly. It was supposed to start with the dumbbell bench press, but that area 
was jam-packed. I never let that get to me. I'm not gonna pace around waiting for the equipment. Uh, my time is limited as is. I got a lot on the go. So just started with the machine fly, which is great for enhancing that mind-muscle connection leading into the dumbbell bench press. Maybe because they were a little bit pre-exhausted, didn't quite hit the number of reps that I typically hit, but uh, all in all, it felt absolutely incredible. You can see the nice, slow and controlled pace. God, that sun is feeling incredible right now. Um, and then the lateral raises on the, uh, for the, the cable machine there, which I love. I love the cable machine for lateral raises more than the dumbbells now. I hardly ever do dumbbell lateral raises anymore. I just feel the tension is so much better uh, with the cable machine there. Uh, afterwards, ended up uh, doing some handstand practice, even though I went to yoga and did some inversion classes. I just like to finish my upper body work. Actually, I like to finish every workout with some handstand practice there. Um, so obviously, shoulders were exhausted from the workout there. Uh, makes it a little bit tougher to do the handstands, but again, I think it's a great practice to go into the handstands feeling pretty exhausted. Um, it really gets me focused on the stack and the form and the technique. So that's incredible. I'm going to go grab my post-workout next. We'll get to that in a moment. Stopping off at my parents' house there on the way back from vacation, thought I would surprise them with some flowers here to welcome them home. And I'm going to enjoy my post-workout meal here. I've got 260 grams of 2% coconut Greek yogurt, a banana, and a little bit of cinnamon sprinkled on top. Along with this, I'm going to have a sweet yellow pepper that I sliced up there. I really like to have a veggie with each and every meal, just great for my overall health, my well-being, making sure I'm getting my micronutrients in, as well as my male hormone health. So going to enjoy Enjoy this quick, easy, delicious post-workout meal to fuel my gains and then get on with my day. All right, so I'm prepping dinner right now. I've got 10 ounces of sweet potatoes here that I diced up into cubes. I coated with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, topped with some pink Himalayan salt. The Brussels sprouts, I've got eight of them that I sliced in half. I put them in a bowl, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in there, uh, some seasonings, again, pink Himalayan salt, some ground black pepper, just other seasonings. Uh, the six ounce salmon filet that I have right here, I coated the aluminum foil with just a little bit of olive oil as well, coated the salmon itself with a little bit of olive oil and some seasonings on top of that. I'm going to be baking the sweet potatoes and the Brussels sprouts in the oven 400 degrees for about 40 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. Again, I'm just going to check the consistency of them, make sure that they're, they're browned enough. Um, and I'm going to be cooking the salmon on the smoker. Um, just going to time it out right, probably about 300 degrees will be about 40 minutes for it to cook on there as well. Just really soak up some good, um, what I got there, hickory, uh, pellets that I'll be cook using uh, to cook this on the smoker right now. Now this is looking like perfection. This is one of my favorite meals of the week. Uh, sometimes I'll have asparagus instead of the Brussels sprouts. Sometimes I'll have some rice, some basmati rice instead of the sweet potatoes. Uh, sometimes for the salmon, I will have it in a brine overnight, usually like um, brown sugar and kosher salt uh, for at least eight hours, sometimes 12 hours. Gives it a nice thick crust on the top. And sometimes I'll coat it with a little bit of um, maple syrup, which is absolutely freaking delicious. So this is looking great. I think just nice and crispy for the asparagus there. Um, the sweet potatoes, just nice and crispy as well. It's really great, like having the, I don't know if you've ever put salt on your sweet potatoes with that light uh, coating of the olive oil on there. It tastes like freaking candy. One of cheese favorite meals as well. He's just down below here getting ready to, to get a little sample himself there. So I'm going to enjoy this and I will tally up the calories and the macros coming up in a bit. Chief Dog and I are out for our post dinner walk. Great for digestion, a lot of benefits when it comes to fat loss as well. Uh, but more than anything, I love my daily walks, the morning routine, the evening routine for my mental health, my mental well being. It just grounds me in the moment, gets me connected with nature, clears my thoughts, fills my mind with an overwhelming sense of gratitude. Um, and it's also great for Chief keeping his alpha male physique. So finishing the day, 1,989 calories, 205 grams of carbs, 133 grams of protein, 68 grams of fat. And I naturally tend to, like my macro ratio is usually around 40% carbs, 30% fat, 30% protein. Uh, it is right around that range today without me trying to achieve that ratio. I think that's like the zone ratio from back in the day there. That's a, that's a while ago. It's probably two decades ago that book came up. Uh, but I never tried to hit a certain macro ratio. I just aim for my calorie target, consume foods that I absolutely love, foods that I thrive from that allow me to feel my best, perform my best, 
energize me, give me mental focus, mental clarity, satiate my stomach. Like I, I'm just under 2000 calories. I am very satiated right now. doesn't feel like I'm in much of a calorie deficit. Mind you, I'm just starting here. So that makes it a little bit easier, but overall very satiating, very satisfying. Um, and just quality nutrient rich food. So this is basically how I'm going to be eating most of the time for the next six weeks leading up to the Christmas holidays there. Uh, mind you, I will be letting loose a little bit here and there. Again, leading up to Christmas, there's a lot of events. Actually, tomorrow I've got uh, a birthday party that I'll be attending. I'll probably have a drink, maybe two. Uh, but just doing so responsibly, enjoying all these gatherings responsibly and kind of banking calories, like making room for that. Um, and just enjoying this overall season while tightening up my physique. I mean, I look great the way I am right now. I'm very happy with that, but I know coming into the Christmas holiday, if I just keep, keep where I'm at right now, I'll probably gain a little bit more during the holidays, and that'll only give me two weeks to get ready for a vacation. I really want to look my best on this vacation. I look great right now, like I said, but uh, even better, tighter, firmer, um, just again, thriving in all aspects. And again, I know from past experience, when I gain any more than where I'm at at this point in the game, um, I start to feel uncomfortable. I start to feel a real heaviness in my abdomen area, and I start to not perform my best in a lot of my athletics. So staying within the sweet spot, perfect timing, not only because of the vacation and leading into the holidays, but perfect timing because gaining any more gets me out of my sweet spot. So I'm really happy with where I'm at. So I hope you enjoyed today's footage. I hope you enjoyed the meals that I consumed. Really trying to get a lot more variety into my meals. So um, I'm going to be following some different cookbooks. I'm actually going to put some of the bodybuilding cookbooks to the test out there. See which ones I find are best when it comes to balanced meals, practical meals, not like franken protein type stuff like just real good solid meals see what the best uh, books out there so if you have any suggestion on um the best kind of bodybuilding cookbooks that are out there i would love uh your insights on that because really trying to get some variety in my meals you notice like i typically have a shake for breakfast i didn't have that today i had that kind of frittata instead i had egg bites the day before that for breakfast just trying to mix things up a little bit dinner i'm gonna get a little bit more variety as well but same kind of foods just trying to prepare them in different ways so again I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more of videos like this where I do full days of eatings and, and kind of incorporate me in some treats some days or just give me a variety of meal ideas, let me know in a comment section below. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them. And before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Lose Fat, Get Jack. There's a link down below in the top pinned comment as well as the description of this video. Have yourself an amazing day. I'll catch you in the next video.